Hi, this is Tal, and in this episode of Dead by Daylight, we've got David King versus Michael Myers. Hey guys, this is Tal, and here we are in the Rotten Fields. We're playing some more Dead by Daylight. Now you'll see we're playing Jake King. So we got to level 30 with Claudette, and when you hit level 30, something exciting happens. The perks that you unlock have a chance of appearing as legendary perks. I'm not sure what the terminology is for it, but what it means is that those perks that are unique to that character, so Claudette's perks, become available to other characters. So we're playing Jake because Jake's key perk is that he gets bonus points if he, if he uh, helps someone. So he gets bonus blood points and of course that helps us level up faster. So he seems to be a pretty popular choice uh, as far as leveling up characters go. So here we are playing Jake King. Now we're going to miss Claudette's self heal but that's the ability that Claudette will pass on if we can unlock that perk in her blood tree. Blood... Oh, what? I can't remember what it's called. The blood tree. So here we are. It's going to be weird without that self heal, but what we need to do is really to make the most of Jake's perk because we're level one. We've only got one perk. His perk in this game is is that bonus blood points if we help somebody. So we kind of really want to keep. Oops. Keep our eye on. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, I'd say that's Michael Myers. Yeah, that was really bad. Got a little bit cocky there. One generator down for the team. And I've got my eye on that guy down there. He's trying to get himself off the hook. I'm kind of really torn because I really want to help him to get those points. But at the same time... You guys deserve a win. Oh, look. Okay, we've got to go now. You'll see... Oh, he's, he's dead. Oh, that was bad timing. So we... Basically, we saw that Michael Myers was on the other side of the map, that he'd just caught somebody. So we knew that it was clear to run, but I wasn't able to get there in time. Now, we're going to have to save this guy. Now, the reason why he died so quickly was because he tried to get himself off that hook. If he hadn't tried to get himself off the hook, then his health wouldn't have been so low and we would have had a little bit more time. But that's the chance you take. He was trying to rescue himself, and if it had paid off, then it would have been a bit of a... It would have been good for him, obviously. I'm getting a little bit better at, um, at these skill checks while I'm... <laughs> Great skill check while I'm commentating. It is it is something that will come that I'll get better at with practice. <laughs> okay, so we haven't we don't know where Michael Myers is now. We do know that this generator is nearly done. Okay, so now we want to make a move. We want to get right away from that generator. So we're going to sprint. Get over here. Now we're just going to walk so that if he is, tr if he is chasing us, because he can see those scratches, then we're going to lose him. Now I'm not sure how long um, the scratches stay visible for. I think it's oh there he is. See he was following. He was following the scratches. Oh no, we're getting a little bit blocked there by the haystacks. Wow, we 
we still haven't got away from him yet, guys. Alright. We might be a bit safe now. Can't see him. Okay. Try and run through here. Okay, now I'm going to stop running. Oh dear. Here he is. <laughs> we ran right into him. Oh god. Whew. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Alright, that's the first time I had a jump scale. I've got the volume turned up a bit louder now. That really got me. Heart rate's up. Alright, so there's our survivors. They're running around. Oh, I was unlucky there to run right into him. And it's, it's tricky too because you don't always get that heads up with a heartbeat like um, you don't exactly know where he is kind of sneaks up on you oh I can hear him now he's after us too alright let's see oh this blood there does, that, does the blood stay there Oh no, see it dries up. That's cool. Now, we're just hiding out in the closet here. Let's have a look around and see what we can find. Oh wow. Alright, let's go. Let's go save him. Now, if that self heal would be so handy right now. We're coming, we're coming. There we go. Now that activates our perks. See our perks lit up now. that's happened. Okay, so now we're going to try and hide in the long grass. Now, shh. He's going to come back for us. He's going to see us. Oh, he's gone straight past us. I don't even want to move. Oh, he's looking around. Shh. Oh, he's found us. Oh, so close. Well, see, that extra time that we took, that gave that gave our, um, the, other, the other guy a chance to get rescued. All right, so here we are. We're on a hook. It's, oh, it's our second time. Second time. All right, we're kind of really counting on someone to rescue us here. We're struggling. Come on now. No. Okay. I guess that's that. I don't know why I died then. Smashing the space bar. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching me make a fool of myself, getting all the terminology wrong and getting everyone's names mixed up, then you want to hit that like button because I'm going to keep doing it for you. If you haven't already joined us, then don't forget to sub. I'm excited about trying out the other survivors, but more importantly, getting in and playing the killers. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you hit the bell notification. If you'd like to support our channel and help me get my words right, then have a look in the description and you'll find a link to Patreon where you can head on over and offer whatever support you can. It, it all makes a massive difference. We've also got the wildest merch around, so if you have a look down in the description, you'll also find the link for that. Lastly, I wanted to say you are awesome and thanks so much for watching this episode. Have a great day.